Hi everyone, this is Andrew. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. It's another beautiful day here in the sunny side of Western Massachusetts. It is, of course, Saturday, uh, June 7th, 2014. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And actually, it really was a beautiful day here in the sunny side of Western Massachusetts. A gorgeous, uh, sunny day, mid-80s. Really can't complain about that at all. Absolutely not. Uh, go out there and get as much sun if you, as you can, uh, especially tomorrow, Sunday. Actually, technically right now it is Sunday, 3 minutes past 12. So make sure it, you go out and uh, get some sun. It's going to be another beautiful day, Sunday. So anyways, that's not really what this video is about. This video is really just kind of a speculative video. Uh, really trying to ask the question is, what, what will it take... For Americans to understand what is going on with them, particularly in the monetary world, in the financial world, what event is it going to take to get Americans to wake up? More and more Americans have woken up to the fraud that the system is, and you know, of course, the deeper into this uh, depression that we get, the more and more people are finally waking up. Also, uh, other things are waking people up as well. Uh, the gun rights issue are waking up people. The, the chemtrailing is waking people up. Uh, there's multiple issues that are waking, really, really waking people up. But what else is it going to take moving forward that's really going to wake people up and going to really make people realize that the federal government, it, 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 that entire entity, it in itself is a fraud. What's it really going to take? Over in Europe right now, they're instituting a negative 1% interest rates, meaning that you actually have to pay just to, just for that bank to hold your cash for you. You have to pay a certain amount for that. And really, uh, a lot of economists out there are saying it's, it's essentially going to happen here as well. It's only a matter of time before the Federal Reserve announces something just as drastic as what the ECB are doing, uh, what Draghi's uh, ECB is doing. Anyways, that's a very, very important story because Europe is sort of a testbed for that. Of course, you had the wealth confiscation from Cyprus about a year or two ago. Uh, that issue hasn't really been fully resolved and so it's just there's a lot of fraud that's going on uh another huge event that took place there was a bank out in china that uh that ran out of metals uh to be able to cover for their for, for their etfs so for for example it's sort of like here in the united states where we sell all this uh paper gold and silver china it's the same thing over there with the exception in terms of gold and silver, they, I believe they have enough of that to be able to cover for, for, for the paper that they have. But other metals, uh, in this one bank, there was uh, other metals, uh, not gold and silver, but uh, cheaper for cheaper versions, uh, stuff that you and I probably can afford more so than even gold or even silver for that matter. But the point is, is there was a bank out in China that could not cover uh, what they have left in metals. And uh, they're scrambling right now to get the metals in in inventory so that way they can start covering for the, for the paper contracts that they have. So you have that story that's ongoing. And many, many other financial stories that are ongoing. So what is that financial catalyst that's going to happen that will sort of light a light bulb in people's heads and finally figure out that the entire system that we're living in right now is in a, is in a Ponzi scheme. We really don't have any confidence in the U.S. dollar uh, outside in the world. The only people that really have confidence in the U.S. dollar is the mainstream American that just, you know, doesn't really understand and guess what's going on. And really, that's what this video is about in a nutshell. Just what is it going to take for people to wake up? What is it going to take for people to finally understand what this country, where this country is headed? What this country has turned into? 
And, you know, on, on a side note, I had a conversation with a gentleman yesterday, and sort of debating uh, what's a better system, socialist system or a capitalist system. He himself believed in the socialist system. He talked about, you know, we we need socialism, and it just, it can be successful. We just haven't been able to successfully implement socialism, and he's an individual who is a supporter of universal health care and, and all this other stuff. And I, I tried to explain to him, look, you know, in order for us to have a social system, every dollar that we earn, not every dollar, but a large percentage of the money that we earn have to go to those programs, have to go to to keep the system running. And in order for socialism to work, you have to go into debt. You know, there was a saying, there's a saying out there, socialism is good until you run out of other people's money. And the, the point is, is it's, it, it, it's a destructive system, socialism is. And I'm sure many of you have heard the Clower and Pivot strategy, where you institute a socialist system, you force the nation deep into debt, so that way when the nation collapses under the weight of its own debt, then uh, the oligarchs can come in, take over that country and institute a fascist regime and that's really what socialism is in a nutshell i didn't explain that portion to him but i was just simply explaining look you know, socialism doesn't work it never worked capitalism has worked it has shown work is it perfect absolutely not and there's no i mean if there was a, a perfect solution out there i'm sure we wouldn't even be in this mess to begin with the point is, is socialism does not work. We've tried socialism for decades now, since at least since 1913, uh, and up to uh, really started to ramp up in the 1930s with the food stamp program being uh, instituted and, and all these other programs being instituted, uh, these work, no, work programs uh, during the Great Depression. I, I'm not saying that maybe a little a little government spending couldn't do some harm or could do some good. I mean, yeah, sure, government spending could do some good, but the problem is, is people running government have a lot of bad intentions, and people running government represent these multinational corp corporate entities that then go out and use government as a way to enforce their own agendas, and and that's really what we're seeing around the world right now. But anyways, uh, again, what is it going to take for Americans to wake up? I mean, what catalyst do we need for that to occur? What's it going to take? <laughs> no, so uh, let me know down in the comment section below, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care, and God bless, and goodbye, good night, bye.